I said it ought to start in a cemetery because people find cemeteries scary. And somebody bashes the brother's head against the tombstone and chases the girl and she gets into this har farmhouse and so on, which was about roughly the almost the first 20 minutes of what became Night of the Living Dead. By the time I graduated from high school, or was going to graduate, I didn't want to go to work for anybody else, and I knew that I had writing talent. I started writing a mystery <laughs> novel <laughs> before I graduated, and, and I didn't have the craft yet, you know, so it kind of went nowhere. And then I started uh, at West Virginia University. It turned out it was a great choice. I, I, had, a, I had a really good time there. Made, made good friends. I and several of my fraternity brothers kind of had a, a pact that we, before we would go to, could go to bed, we had to each write a poem. You know, the, just our way of keeping our writing going in, in the midst of studies and everything else. And Dr. Foster was the head of the English department and Foster was just knocked over. But you mean frat guys are doing this? <laughs> George, you know, this has all the right twists and turns, the right suspense, but who are, who's chasing her? <laughs> you never say. And he said, I don't know. And I said, well, it seemed to me they could be dead people. I said, but you don't say what they're after either. They don't bite, they don't claw, they, what, what, what do they want? And he said he didn't know that either. And I said, well, why don't we use my flesh-eating idea? So that's how they became dead people in search of human flesh. Without those two ideas, you don't have Night of the Living Dead, Walking Dead, or anything else. We were out to shock people. You know, we didn't know if we could get our movie sold or distributed, so we wanted to be iconoclastic. So it was a hit from the start, and it performed like that everywhere it went. I've done, you know, 20-some, written 20-some books. My movie-making books are known as Bibles of the Industry. I'm, when I met Quentin Tarantino and he said, you know, I made a movie I didn't finish and then I read your books and I took notes and made charts and that's what guided me through my first complete movie. Kevin Smith and Scott Mosier, the same thing, said my books took them all the way through film school. It's a very gratifying thing if you start out as a teacher and a writer and then you're able to help other people. Oh, I'm just a nice guy that likes to scare people. I mean, I don't do this stuff, I just write about it, you know? <laughs>